How's it going, my Weld2 family? Once again, here with Rosendo Rodriguez, Welding Fly Duck. On today's video, I want to talk to all my beginners in stick welding. I'm going to show you all my tips and tricks. I'm going to teach you how to run consistent beads on this half inch plate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so first step, we're going to be using a 7018 532 stick rod. Now, first thing first, always keep a good angle. What angle? We're going to use a 10, 15 degrees leading to the right because I'm right-handed. So this is what it's going to look like. 10, 15 degrees towards me, 10, 15 degrees away from me. Okay, we're going to the right. So this is the angle that I want to keep at all times, all the time. Now, very important that you're always feeding that rod. Feed that rod into your, your puddle. Now, I know a lot of people don't know how much to feed. They don't know uh, how much exactly, but my trick, my tip, is that you want to feel the base metal, all right? You want to feel it just a tiny, tiny bit, a tiny hair, maybe about a 1 32nd or a 1 16th of feeling. Um, if you feel that plate too much, you're pushing too hard, okay? You're gonna start creating spatter and so on. Um, so that's the trick to it. Try to feel that plate, tiny bit. Watch that puddle, always feed. If you don't feel the plate, that means you're what? You're long arcing, right? So feed a little bit more. Now, angle matters a lot. If you can't see where you're going, move that rod away from the area that you can't see. Sounds good? So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, so remember, first tip of the day, um, proper PPE. So, I got my gloves, my glasses, and today I'll be wearing my Futura Chop Top from Welty. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, um, I'll be using a 7018 second rod and I'll be burning at 190 amps, plus or minus. That means you can go up or down, get comfortable. So let's give it a shot. Now, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so next tip now, get comfortable. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. Prep your, yourself on something. Uh, try not to bounce around. Remember, keep a nice and steady uh, uh, posture. Now, also, um, don't grab your stinger too tight. Uh, relax a little bit. You don't want to bundle up, right? You want to be loose. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna push away, okay? We're gonna push away. Now, if you can't see where you're going, that means you're leaving yourself behind. You're, you're, you're going like this. So try to move with a stick rod, move with it. All right, same angle at all times. All right, so we're going nice and steady. Remember, I feel the plate underneath. How much? Maybe about a 16. Um, watch your puddle. Your puddle tells you everything. Try to keep the puddle the same size at all times. Remember, there's no rush. Keep feeding, keep feeding. Keep that same angle. If you don't feel the plate, that means you're long arcing. You've got to feed more. Uh, whenever you need to feed more, don't just shove it in there but feed uh, slowly until you feel the plate. Keep going, keep going. Don't anticipate at the end. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All the way through. All right, let's see how it looks. So, so I'm gonna tell you right now. So this is my guide right here. The very edge, the very edge of my plate. Remember how I told you that you want to keep a distance between that edge and uh, your stick rod. So maybe about a 532nd, 316ths. It's just an average, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm watching the edge of, of my, my plate, and I'm also watching the edge of my puddle, the top part of my puddle. So I try to keep that same distance all the way through, and that's what's going to give me a straight bead, okay? Now, um, this is probably the hardest bead, all right? The very, very first one, because you're not, you're trying not to burn the edge. Now, after this one right here, it's gonna get a lot easier. So, remember we're using a 532nd. Why are we using a 532nd? Because the puddle is bigger and it's easier for you to see. Um, you're gonna see everything a lot better. So, um, let's keep burning some more. We're going to 190 amps. Let's do our second bead. Let's see how it comes out. Second bead. Uh, how do I go in a straight line? How do I keep this uniform? Remember, now, what is my guideline? This is what I'm gonna use as a guideline, all right? So if you can see this, this toe line right here of this bead, down here on the bottom, 
That's my guideline. Now, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow that line. How am I going to do it? Well, a lot of people might put the stick right, right in the middle. Uh, if you do that, sometimes you might overlap that bead a little bit too much. Uh, so be careful with that. What I like to do is I like to see the line. I like to see where I'm going. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to stay a little bit below that line. So what I'm watching is my puddle. So the top part of the puddle, I see that top part covering this line. Okay, not the stick rod. Don't look at the stick rod. Okay, you're looking at the puddle. You're looking at the top part of the puddle covering that line. Okay, that's how you're gonna do it without making a guideline, okay, with the grinder. Now, uh, if you're, uh, you know, like I said, you know, this is for my beginners. If you want to use a guideline with the grinder, go ahead and use it. All we have to do here is make a grind line on that toe line. Pretty simple. Uh, and now you can see it a lot better. It's going to be shiny for you. You can see that little equator in there, um, the little trench. So pretty simple. But let's make it a little bit more difficult. All right, so follow this toe line. Here we go. Pay attention, focus. Another pointer, don't lock your knees. If you're welding straight, don't lock your knees because when you lock your knees, you're cutting off your circulation and you're probably gonna start swinging around. You're gonna start doing this back and forth. So that's gonna cause you to have what? Inconsistent beads, right? So kind of bend your knees a tiny bit. All right, get some of that blood flow, get, open your legs a little bit. Um, you know, uh, square up a little bit, bend your knees a little bit and get comfortable. All right, so let's go ahead and work on our second bead. Here we go. Now watch my puddle. Focus on the puddle. If you can't see where you're going, remember, change the angle of your rod. Bring it down a little bit so you can see where you're going. It's because you're blocking your view. Or maybe you're leaving your face behind. Move with the stick rod, move with your hands. Keep the same angle at all times. If you can't see where you're going, you gotta move your angle on your stick rod. Bring it down a little bit because you should be able to see in front of you. Always feel the plate, keep feeding, keep feeding. See how I'm slightly below the toe line? The puddle is what's overlapping. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so if you can see our second bead here, it looks nice and even, nice and consistent. Now. What if you were to see your bead skinny and then wide, skinny and then wide? It's probably because what? Probably your travel speed. It could be a lot of things, but most likely your travel speed, right? Because you're probably going too fast and then you're slowing down and then you're going too fast. If you start seeing porosity in between, so it's probably because you're what? Maybe you're long arcing too much, all right? If you don't see any porosity, but then you see like a skinny bead, well, it's probably because you're long arcing just the right amount where you're not getting enough enough metal on your plate. So um, be very uh, uh, focused, uh, attentive, watch what you're doing, watch what you're leaving behind. Uh, you know, I, I used to tell my students all the time, hey, every time you well, don't just well, but memorize everything that's going on. Pay attention to everything that, that you're doing at all times. Um, don't just weld it because then you'll have no idea what you just did, right? You're not learning. So. Feel everything, feel how much you're feeding, look at what's happening to your puddle. Now, um, let's do our third bead, let's do another bead here. Let's go ahead and stop in the middle just, uh, just because, on purpose, let's do it on purpose. So let's pretend that we're having an issue there, maybe um, we're missing slag, um, I'm sorry, uh, flux, maybe we're missing a little bit of flux from our stick rod, um, and we started getting you know, a bad well here and we had to stop for, for that reason. Or maybe we got stuck or something, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a proper restart. Okay, we're going to do a restart. There's many ways to do a restart, but I'm going to show you one of, one of my methods and it works very well. So let's go ahead and stop right here in the middle and we'll do a restart for you. Here we go. Check this out. Watch what I'm doing. Every time I put a stick rod into my stinger, I'm always wiggling it, making sure that it's nice and snug. See that? So, and it's very common. I see it all the time. People put their stick rods in there and they don't check it. 
When they're welding, what does it do? It snaps on you, boom, because it's loose. So while you're welding, it goes, pa, snaps on you. So now you're messed up. Now you got porosity. Now you got to restart again. So always double check before you start. You got little grooves in there, right? Make sure it's placed in there properly, nice and snug. See that? All right, let's go ahead and start. Here we go. Watch my body placement. Here we go. Let's do a restart. What we're gonna do here, it's real simple. We're gonna start off maybe about a half inch to an inch away from our stop. Okay, so we're gonna strike an arc and we're gonna travel all the way across, okay? You don't wanna spend here too much time. Spend here too much time, what's gonna happen? You're gonna have too much buildup, right? So all you're gonna do is in and out. Here's another mistake, okay? When people restrike, they don't know how much to long arc, okay? Uh, when they're traveling back. So what happens, you start getting porosity on your way there or complications, right? Keep a tight arc, all right, without feeding uh, too much metal into your plate. All the way through, all the way through. Takes a lot of practice uh, to do a proper restart. But well, it is possible, remember. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. I just show you how to run some consistent beads using a 7018 uh going at 190 amps. Now, plus or minus, remember that. Play with your temperatures. So, I gave you some uh, tips and tricks. I, I show you the main, the main stuff. Keep uh, consistency. Um, try to feel that face plate, all right? Feel it a little bit, remember that. That's your, uh, your, your to go. If you can't feel it, that means you're long arcing, remember that. Um, be comfortable, right? Very important, don't lock your knees. Uh, also very important, make sure that you can see where you're going. If you can't see where you're going, it's because you're leaving your face behind. You're pulling away too much. You can't see in front of you. Have you ever realized why is it that I can see at the beginning and then I can't see at the end, towards the end? Well, because when you start at the beginning, everything is in front of you. Here, you're leaving everything behind you, your face. So you need to follow your hands, follow your stick rod, move with it. You see that? That's how you're going to be able to see the whole time. Um, also, if you're doing that and you still can't see, it's probably because the stick rod, your angle is too high. You can't see in front of you. So move your angle, move it down a little bit, right, to where you can see in front of your stick rod, okay? So um, there's a lot of tips and tricks. Um, also keep watching our videos, um, they help a lot. So thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Remember, keep watching our videos, comment, like, and subscribe. Hoorah!